is October 20th, 2021. This one here I'm going to call. I believe I've been here before where he was talking, but we've got a burner service and something with his upstairs shower. Something's going on with his upstairs shower. So we're on our way over there now and see if we can help out this cat. See what we got going here. We're getting a good oil flow that night. I mean, all the filters are good, okay? Yeah. We get a bad, oil, a bad flow? Well, we know the filters are bad. Right. It's pretty, pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, not the greatest. I'm gonna check and change the filter. I don't think I changed it last year, I don't believe. Yeah, I don't remember. I, actually, I wasn't here, I don't think, at the time my wife was. Where's the tank? Right over here. We're hoping we won't have any late winter. Well, I don't know, supposedly it's supposed to be a bad winter. This isn't good having this type of valve here. It's not good? No, because that's a gate valve. That, okay. thing could, yep. that thing could break at any time. When you go to take it out, it might break. Yeah. And you can't it unless you well, the problem in. is, uh, it's not the greatest valve yeah. to have there. That's like the worst valve you'd want to ever put there. Yeah, I'm afraid the people that, that had the system done... <clears throat> Had an extremely minimal yeah, you could see see the see the yeah. see the how see the filter. Yep. I could tell by the oil flow. Yeah. That's why people say, "Oh, when you change the filter, I, I can tell if it's dirty or not." Yeah. I'm just ducky. What's going on? Um, we've got a contractor who will meet you here when you want him to take out that part of the closet, the middle part. Well, I'm ready to go. Have him take it out, and then I'll get going on the job. Okay, he thought he'd meet you over here. Okay, can we do? Can you start at the beginning of next week? You have the part. I got all the stuff. Yeah, I got all the stuff. I just gotta take out the center shelves. No, he will take out the center shelves. You. Have them take it out, and when that's done, let me know, and I'll get rocking and rolling on it. I want to do that job. Okay, it'll be the beginning of next week. I'll set it up. Okay, yeah, get the shelves out, and then I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll here. Okay, I'll call you. I'll call you the beginning of next week and tell you when to go. Okay, good. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, when we, we moved in here, they only had... They had a minimal amount of, of uh, hot water because they, the guy wouldn't uh, hook it up because they couldn't pay him. Boy, that's kind of... Well, it ain't too bad. Okay. Ain't the greatest, but like I said, I don't want to play around with this valve too no, much because it's just... Then you turn it into a real shit show. See, the, see how dirty that is? Oh, yeah. Last year we had a decent flow. Yeah. I wonder what this smells like. No, it don't smell like that biodiesel. They got this biodiesel coming out supposedly. It don't smell like it, huh. so okay. you're lucky. Yeah. You don't want that shit. No. I think they're gonna shove it down your throat anyway. You know, typical bullshit, right? Yeah. They did that with the gasoline, remember? Yep. Even though you want you want it or not. Sounds like Obamacare. Yeah, see. Pretty mucky in there. Yeah. Clean it the best we can. Yeah. Let's... Yeah, I used to do all my own maintenance on my cars, and that was one of the worst things to open up a fuel filter and find it. 
clogged with garbage. Oh yeah, on a car. Yeah. You don't want that. No. Because then that then he knows there's a bunch of shit in there. That's right. So you like being retired or what's the story there? Yeah, I do. I do. I uh, I had 20 years in the military and worked in the... That was enough, huh? 20 hmm? years? 20 years was enough? Yeah, 20 years. Well, 21 years and four days. I think that, that probably sums it up. <laughs> wow. But, uh, that was enough. Yeah. I've been, in, I've, been, I've been doing this for 40 years because I started when I was... Right around 17 is when yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been in my house 40 years. Yeah, we've been in here 20, 21 now, I think. For 40 years I've been in my house, yeah. and that's something, huh? We'll, we'll put a new gasket in there, too, at the same time, why not? A new gasket. We'll see if we can get a blood here. Yeah, I don't like this gate valve. Yeah. It's because sometimes that thing could strip out and stay down in there. Then you're screwed. Yeah. Probably have to have the oil company come and drain the tank. Well, no, I could. It, worst comes to worst. I mean, I could get barrels and pump it into barrels and yeah. put a va pull a vacuum on. I don't like pulling a vacuum on an old tank like this, but right. it is I what it is. I had an old house up in Maine, and the tank started leaking. And the guy came and, and he uh, sucked as much of out as he could, but it still ended up with he had to cut it in half to get out of the house. Get it out of the house. Yeah, that's how I usually cut them in four pieces. Yeah. Get them out. We're gonna have to pull it on the other end anyway to get a good good flow. Yeah. Right, might as well just. Button it up and pull it through, pull it through the pump because I want to get a good flow anyway. <clears throat> My filter was dirty. Yes, that's for sure. <sighs> a lot of muck in there too. There's a lot of kind of wet, wet stuff in there. Yeah. Are you like being retired? Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, we have an RV and we like to travel a bit. And, uh, I, I enjoy working golf all over and seeing more, more areas. I got in at the right time when they needed something that I had a bit of knowledge about. So you didn't have to play GI Joe, right? We're gonna pump it through and get a get a good flow here. Because we'll, okay. I left the air inside the unit, right? Control there. Mm -hmm. Who's that here? Mm 
See how the better flow there? I can tell just by that if the filters are blocked. Yeah. Just from experience, you know. A lot of these young guys, they don't get that. You gotta have experience. I know, I, we've had a few of them in here. And I hope, I hope you don't mind me just talking to you. It's not that I'm watching you or anything. No, that's like fine. That. I don't have a problem. Well, I had one guy who came in and, and he just was... He didn't want anybody around him. Really? You know what? That bothered me. <laughs> he didn't want no one around him? Right. He wanted to be working and, and not have anybody watch him float over his shoulder. I think that's something, huh? Yeah. Surprised he said that to you. I was, I was too. So he told you to hit the road. Yeah. <laughs> hit the road, I don't want you watching me? Is that what he said? Basically. That's I don't, I don't of... work well with people watching me. I said, I'm not watching you, I'm just looking at what's happening. Wow. That's something. Well, he didn't last I long, huh? I don't know what's going on. He didn't last long, did he? Not in this house. <laughs> I thought that was rough around the edges. You got me beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you, it sounds to me like you enjoy being around people, so. My what? You enjoy being around people. I don't mind. I mean, well, well, can't really do much about it. They're going to watch. They're going to watch. What a yeah. difference. I don't care. The guy knew what he was doing. He wouldn't be calling me, would he? That's right. Think about it. Yeah. No, that was, that was my, uh... If the guy knew what he was doing, what the hell was he calling me come over? So I just have something to talk to? No. Don't. Most people will come down and will hang out and watch you, see what you're doing. I mean, it's yeah. just kind of how it is. It's, you're, you're in their house and you're... So, no big deal. That's the way I feel about it, too. Yeah, I had readjusted the electrodes last time. Yeah. So I was here last year, right? Yep. I think you were here last year. Yeah, it might have been me. I'm not sure. My wife was me. I think it was you and your wife both. Yeah. You know, we got to give them a call. It's getting into fall here, so we better do it. Yeah, I remember the street was kind of weird, hard to get to, but like, even last time, it yeah. was just kind of something was just odd about it. Yeah, everything about it out here is. is you know what it is, um, the street, the street's got a different, instead of, instead of lane, it's street, and yeah. the numbers are off, it, should, it put, took me the wrong way on the road. Oh, yeah, because there's, there's, see, one, two, three houses going up the hill, and that's, you know. Yeah, it took me up the hill last time, so yeah, yeah see, this is, see how nice and clean this is, so that filter was catching a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's a little 70, 75, 70 we got in there. So we'll uh, put back. If it's working, good, we leave it alone, right? Yep. If it ain't broke, don't need to really fix it. Just clean it. Well, I like to change the nozzles and yeah. check the filters. Oh, yeah. If the filters are dirty, we change them. It's just like but, working uh, on a car. I used to work on my cars all the time. Always. Very rarely did I just clean the plugs, I'd change them and oil and filter constantly. Which, and it's, it's kind of the same thing. It's got the same kind of oil, essentially. And yeah, the oil and filters are good to keep them clean, now, keep That's them changed. Right. I mean, it doesn't hurt to do it a little bit more, more often than it says, right? Yeah, exactly. You can't go wrong by changing the oil and the filter. Yeah. I just wish cars were a little easier to work on like they used to be 30 years ago. Well. Now. <coughs> now you can't really work on them unless you got a computer. That's right. A special computer you got to put on there and check them and see what the hell's going on. And That's right. Eventually the burners are going to get like that too. Yeah. So you take you take the truck to the mechanic and he's gonna he's gonna put the scan tool on it and check for codes. He's always saying, "I want to check yep. for codes." Yep. You know, he's always and checking. Checking the computer to see what it says, what's happening in there. Yeah, basically, and then that's how they fix shit. They go by the codes. Yep. Yeah, it's like the RV. Three times since we bought it, we've got messages saying. Got to come in for service. Got a problem on it. How the hell do they know? It says right on it. 
Well, it didn't say on it. it it's, they found something at the factory that wasn't up to snuff, so they made changes. All right, this one's got the, the burn the door here. Something was kind of weird about this last time. I'll see if I remember right. It's hard to get it out or something. Yep. The burn the door. Something was going on with it. Let's fire it up. Let's see what happens here. Right. Let's see how it fires up. Mm. Tell our draft's good. Tell the draft's good because we're not getting roll out. This is a this is a steel boiler anyway. Yeah. Oh five it says on it. They last about ten years and you have a problem with them? Yeah, she's a little crusty, huh? It was. Yeah. Boiler pressure looks good. What's up? We needed a new filter, a new nozzle, annual maintenance, right? Right. Keep it running clean and lean and uh, before you have problems. That's the secret. Yeah. As with most things, if you keep it tuned, huh? if you do the, the needed maintenance and keep it tuned up, they run a lot better, a lot longer. Well, you get less of a chance of something going on because, say, if the, you know that muck in the filter would have went a little bit longer, you might have, oh, yeah. you might have started having a problem with, you know, stopping of oil, the right? Flew out over there. Yep. And next thing you know, it's you calling me in the middle of the night. Got no heat. The wife is pissed. Get over here quickly. Yeah. Yeah. She's not a happy camper. Yeah. All right, we got no leaks here. It's all looking good. So it's been about been about a year. New filter at tank, new nozzle, good oil flow, good draft over fire. You got a nice all fuel chimney there. Yep. That's it. This should be good for another year. Right. I don't like how they're hanging the tank over the edge like that. Was he doing her a favor? He kind of cut rate right everything yeah. that he... Probably should have been like, like up here on a T or something so it hangs down and you know, off yeah. the pipe. It's like this here. We had one guy come in and make a change. One of the big oil companies. <sighs> There's a water feed to go to the boiler right here if you ever have to shut it off. See yeah. this? You just shut it. Right. That shuts the boiler off. Yeah. 